any Kenya, wherever you may be, whatever your color, whatever your race, whatever your religion, whatever your gender, that you are free and feel that Kenya is your home. That is the basic essence of a society that is moving in the right direction. Tumetenda mengi pamoja. Na nataka ni chukue na fasi hii. Kwa shukuru, nyote ambao mumeweza kufika hapa. Na shukuru sana wale haswa nimepata kufanya kazi pamoja nao. Kwa sababu yale ambayo tumetenda, tumetenda pamoja. Na shukuru ya kwamba taifa letu la Kenya pahali ambapo tupo we have taken many steps forward many steps forward we have achieved a lot together kuna maendeleo katika sehemu za taifa letu la Kenya pahali ambapo wengi hawakuamini waweza waone stima ama barabara leo hii wana enjoy haya kuna wengi ambao kwa sababu ya mgawanyiko wa siasa walikuwa wanafikiri ya kwamba hatuwezi tukae kwa meza moja na tukule pamoja Leo hii angalia tuko na Joho amekaa hapa na tumepingana kama sijui nini. Tuko hapa na Abdul Swamat ambaye tumepingana sijui kama nini. Lakini we are together. Why? Because we have been able to elevate the country beyond the individual. And we have been able to see that our unity of purpose as a nation is much better than an individual's ambition. Na mimi kama ni Naomi kwenu nyinyi waislamu ndugu na dada zangu wa taifa la Kenya kama ni Naomi ombi langu ni tuendelee kushirikiana tuungane na tuwe na mwelekeo ambao tunajua ya kwamba hautakuwa mwelekeo wa makelele utakuwa mwelekeo wa kuendelea na amani na umoja wa taifa letu la Kenya kazi ya kujenga taifa sio rahisi vile watu kufikiria sio rahisi ina mawimbi mingi ina mawimbi mingi and it requires a steady hand not a hand that looks at everything from a selfish point of view not a hand that rather than seek to resolve problems you seek to look for somebody to blame now if you are looking for somebody to blame instead of fixing a problem how can you be a problem solver? You are a problem identifier. Yeah? And this country requires problem solvers. Kwa sababu hakuna hakuna siku hakutakuwa shida, kutakuwa shida. Tunaelewana. So you need people who are willing to pull together and solve problems. Solve problems. Because that is the only way a country develops. Mheshimiwa Rais ndugu zangu asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh mimi niko na fursa ya kutoa shukrani na nitatoa shukrani mara mbili kwanza mheshimiwa rais twakushukuru kwa kutupa uwezo wa waislamu wasopungue 1700 kukutana mahali pamoja hasusan mwezi wa ramadhani furaha yetu sisi kama waislamu ni kuona tabasamu 
kwa muislamu mwenzako and you made it possible for all of us to come together your excellency we do not take that for granted shukrani ya pili mheshimiwa rais you are inviting us here symbolically inaonesha taifa kwamba wewe unatambua uislamu and that is the kind of leadership we appreciate so nataka nikwambie kama muislamu kutuita hapa unatambua kama Kenya ni nchi ya dini zote We never imagined that we'll come to state house and be able to have iftar is only under your leadership We have felt protected as Muslims under your leadership and you have created a foundation that this will not stop because you are exiting and you're not exiting anywhere your excellency you are remaining with us in Kenya you are young you have a, 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 an implementation of a role to play in this country this is what the foundation you have put and that's why we believe even the new government will have no choice but to implement what you have done because everything what you have done your excellency is in the right way is for unifying communities and the agenda you have of unifying the nation and today you have brought us here as a community that is a great agenda you'll be rewarded by the almighty god and i believe this is the right agenda you are doing i am your servant in your government i highly appreciate your excellency it's only in your government that we muslim leaders and we who work under you know what you mean for this country you have built infrastructure even from where you did not get votes you build communities and you build bridges where there was no bridge to build you brought people together your excellency i want to say on my behalf on behalf of the muslim i personally appreciate to work under you and also to serve the nation not only muslim but to serve the nation under you i believe and history will judge you that you are one of the best leaders this country had and will have because you have done beyond what you are supposed to do so with those remarks i want to say thank you very much your excellency for me serving you but also on behalf of the muslim you have done a lot to the muslim today thank you and shukran your excellency it's just a wonderful evening and it's an evening like others that we've had before but it's also an evening like no other evening today we truly celebrate our faith and we do it in your presence we do it at the state house of the republic of kenya your excellency we are extremely proud of that ramadan your excellency is a time of increased worship it's a time of spiritual cleansing it's a time of good deeds and it's a wonderful time of acts of charity and today you've demonstrated one of the biggest acts of charity that we know bringing all of us together to eat together to have iftar together so again we thank you very much your excellency thank you for doing that thank you for bringing us together the 20% i am one of them cs balala is the other cs arden is the other one and he's also are uh, here with us and we have many others we have our pss uh, who are brothers as well muslim brothers who you appointed i have been with you together with cs balala from i think the first few months that you are in office it's really been truly a remarkable journey it's been a wonderful journey we've appreciated you you've shown affection you have shown love to the community but most importantly you have guided us and you've guided us extremely well and so uh, your excellency we are really really happy to be here with you today to break bread with you your excellency asante sana tunashukuru sana your excellency 
On behalf of the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims uh, and on behalf of the Muslim leaders from diverse backgrounds, I appreciate your honorable gesture of extending to our community an invitation to share an evening with you during this blessed month of Ramadan. Your Excellency, Muslims are committed to a free, fair, credible, and peaceful and just elections, and together with other faith partners, are actively involved in efforts that will promote peaceful coexistence among all communities in Kenya before, during, and after elections. We pray for a peaceful elections. Your Excellency, to this effect, the Muslim leaders have begun a countrywide consultations on how to participate appropriately in the coming elections. After these countrywide consultations, which, Your Excellency, for your information, we have already had consultations in Nairobi, we have done consultations at the coast, and soon we are going to the northeast and the rest of the country with the aim of actually um, appreciating the challenges the community is facing and identifying possible partners and friends that we can work together to transform this country going forward. As we enter this last phase of electioneering process, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide and grant you, Your Excellency, with wisdom and fortitude to take our nation through a peaceful transition in the next political administration. We thank you, sir, for, because for the last 10 years you have been in leadership. We have also enjoyed the Eid al-Adha through the gazettemen of that particular day. 